Whether you're fully vaccinated or still waiting to get a shot, you'll want to hear this next story. New data shows the Pfizer vaccine is effective for at least six months after you get your second dose. It's welcome news, but what happens after that? WCNC Charlotte's Hunter Sign spoke with doctors to get their take. Yeah, the key words there, at least six months. Besides those who took part in the Pfizer trials long time ago, phase one recipients have really only had the vaccine in their system for three to four months. So time will tell if another vaccine will be needed. All right, thank you guys. I got one more. Oh, satisfaction. It, it really feels wonderful to feel that I can continue doing my job with not being so fearful. With nearly 37% of North Carolina's total population fully vaccinated, I just feel more comfortable. Many are hopeful for the days ahead. I think it's the best thing ever happened. With promising new data from the first vaccine to get FDA approval, they should be. Pfizer says its vaccine proves to be 91% effective at least six months after a second dose. It's very encouraging news. Dr. Ryan Shelton with Tryon Medical Partners says the period of time that a vaccine will stay effective depends on variants and how quickly we can get people vaccinated. If the virus eventually outsmarts our current vaccines before we can get enough people vaccinated, then, I mean, that's that's going to be um, a real challenge. He says he wouldn't be surprised if at some point we may need to get a booster shot. Studies are ongoing in terms of how long does the immune protection last. We reached out to multiple health officials for their take. Doctors Carla and Robert Robinson said it's hard to say if a booster will be needed before the end of the year, but they do think there will be the need for an annual COVID vaccine like the annual flu shot. I got shot today. And earlier this month, Mecklenburg County Health Director Gibby Harris said she wouldn't be surprised if a booster shot was offered this fall along with flu shots. And it's really way dependent on what we as humans do. We also wanted to know if another shot is needed in the future, will it be distributed in phases? Dr. Shelton says that depends on if the new shot can be made with the same vaccine or if a new one has to be made to protect against one of those variants. All three doctors did tell me they do see a day in which masks will no longer be necessary. They just don't know when. In Charlotte, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte.